is Neo investing heavily or are they burning cash? This is one of the questions that I want to highlight. And also, I, I think it's important to make a point here, and that is Neo as an IDE, an innovative driven enterprise. This is put out by MIT. And on the right hand side, you see the growth trajectory of an IDE. And within the IDE subset of startups, this according to MIT, uh, they face initial challenges. For example, greater investment at the start before revenue turns positive, and that results in negative earnings for a period. So you see the negative growth trajectory for a period of time, but you've got the prospect of impact later with exponential growth further up the curve. This is one of the reasons that I chose NEO and chose it as a long-term play. In fact, I talked about it here on the channel, and I even referenced NEO not only as an IDE, but a unicorn because I don't think we've ever seen a company like this before. Now, that means I have to be aware of a couple of things. First off, that there is a time frame, and it may be a long time for the company to get to profitability, at least a long time from years ago. It seems like Neo is reining in and getting close to that point, at least according to the focus of William Lee, the CEO. But the other piece of this is the shorting. And that means, especially if there are shorts involved and Neo is a true IDE. Imagine if it is a unicorn in a company like we've never seen before. That means the short thesis can be even louder, even noisier, and there can be even more negative sentiment. So when I saw the suspicious short Citadel get involved back in 2021, I started tracking the balance sheet for Neo. And the reason for that is I wanted to make sure that they were going to efficiently manage their funds so that they wouldn't run out of funds and they could eventually get to profitability, which is so important for a company that's getting heavily shorted. So here we've got, and, and again, I've been tracking this since dating back to 2021, but there's just too much data to share. So you are welcome to look through on your own, but I've just got the last couple of years, starting with the first quarter of 2023. And all I've done is highlighted the balance sheet so that we can go through this together briefly. And you can just get a glimpse of what I've been tracking behind the scenes. U.S. $5.5 billion on the balance sheet as of, and that was the end of March in 2023, but that was also you know, marking essentially the first quarter in 2023. So what about the second quarter in 2023? $4.3 U.S. billion. By the way, this is the lowest it has been dating back to at least, I tracked this data before I did the video, all the way back to 2021. So... I'm curious if that will change anyone's view of, let's say, the recent fund or equity raise that NEO did, uh, that funding, if it changes the way you look at it, especially as we get through more of this data. This is the third quarter of 2023, and that uh, was reported September 30, 2023, U.S. $6.2 billion on the balance sheet. Continuing to move forward, we've got the fourth quarter and full year, but again, I'm just focused on that balance sheet and tracking it, so we've got over 8.1 or roughly 8.1 US billion dollars on the balance sheet as of the end of 2023 for NEO. Moving into 2024, the first quarter results, which were, sorry, I had I thought I had it highlighted. Let's do that. Uh, which were reported at the end of March, 2024. And the company had 6.3 billion US dollars on the balance sheet at that time. How about the second quarter of 2024, NEO with 5.7 billion US dollars on the balance sheet as of that time. The third quarter of 2024, Neo with 6 billion US dollars on the balance sheet. And the most recent, which was just shared in uh, March, March 21st, here of 2025, this was as of December 31st, 2024, Neo with 5.7 billion US dollars on the balance sheet. And I'm wondering, kind of looking back at this and then recognizing, let's say, for example, that the uh, lowest that it's been in the last few years is that 4.3 billion US dollars. I wonder if William Lee, in this focus on trying to release all these new products, models, the brand, uh, well, all of the brands, and then also get to profitability. I wonder if he just wanted a little bit more breathing room. And that was maybe a part of what went into the decision with the recent fundraise. I don't know, uh, but I'm just kind of speculating and offering that. I'm just really curious if you, now that you have seen some of this and you are more than welcome to check even further and go back further if you wish, but this is exactly why for me anyway, I'm not concerned even with the recent equity raise 
done by NEO. I think that they have been efficiently and effectively managing the balance sheet and doing incredible investment that I do believe will start to come in. I am hoping that William Lee is right and they can come in with 2026 full year profitability. That would be huge, I think, especially for crushing the short thesis if we haven't seen it sort of you know, taken out of the equation by that time. So anyway, drop it in the comments. I want to hear from you. Thanks for sticking around to the end. If you, in fact, made it to the end of the video, I'll see you all again very soon.